Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about when you should start the process of PhD application. Well, it depends on which session you are aiming for. So if you're aiming for next year, fall 2025, then this is the high time you should start applying for the PhD application. And if you're confused about how you should do it, you know, the process of sending out emails, how to prepare your CV, SOP, I have made separate videos individually for each of these topics. Go check out my channel, watch those videos and get a good idea about it. Let's talk about the timeline, how you should plan your timeline so that you submit your application before the deadline. July is the time when I think you should start Start preparing the list of the universities and the professors and I've made a detailed video about how you can do that how you can make an excel sheet of universities and professors the reason we are making these excel sheet is we want to keep things organized and this is going to help us when we'll be sending out emails to the professor so start preparing your list in the July month itself it's going to take about one month or so but once you have your list ready with you then rest of the journey is going to be smooth next thing is while you're making this list start preparing your SOP and CV as well again I've made separate videos about SOP and CV go check out those videos as well and it's going to give you a good idea because I have went through my SOP and my CV line by line so you'll get a very good idea about that other than that I would say start optimizing your LinkedIn profile as well because this is something that a lot of people miss out on you need to have a good LinkedIn profile well maintained pro profile that's optimized and for that as well I've made a separate video on how you can optimize it using AI and chat GPT things and again went through line by line and section by section in my LinkedIn profile and how I optimized it so you can also get a very good idea about it so definitely check out that video as well it's very helpful that's why i'm making this content to help you guys so while making the list parallelly you're doing all these things now comes the test requirements now it may so happen that your university or department in your particular university where you are applying does not require you to submit gre scores in that case you just have to go for an english proficiency test and for that you can you either give toefl or ielts and both of those exams are pretty straightforward not that tough and i think 15 to 20 days of preparation would be sufficient to clear this exam with good score and uh, the perfect time would be to give it in august or september before the application starts yeah i mean don't stress out too much i think there are plenty of videos available on youtube there is plenty of material available on youtube and online platforms as well you can get free samples on telegram just to tell you so that is how you can prepare your toefl and ielts exam and it's easy for gre if, if it's if at all you're required to give gre i would say a one to two months of preparation is good enough to get get into phd because you don't need very high score if you are aiming for phd but still you need a decent score i think one to two months of preparation would be good and you can give in uh, you can give your gre again in in the month of august or september once you have all these things ready you have your university list ready and everything is ready start sending out emails to the professors the moment you complete your list you can start sending out email around late august or early september once you send out email wait for 10 days to get the reply if you're not getting a reply send a follow-up email again wait for 10 days if you don't get a reply again send a follow-up email if you don't get a reply leave the professor that means he's not interested that's what my general rule was but hold on there is a catch if your profile is too good and you're too confident on your profile you don't need to send out emails to the professor at all the only reason we are sending out emails to the professor is just to check whether a position is available or not so that we don't spend unnecessary amount of money applying to a university and then later on we realize that you know there was no position at all nobody wants that we want to save money having said that i'm assuming by september end you will have sufficient number of positive replies from the professor once you have that then you have to select a pool of universities in which you are going to submit your application each application form is going to cost you some money 60 dollars 80 dollars 100 dollars so you cannot apply to 15 or 20 universities once you have all these things ready then comes the part where you start filling the application form and that is somewhere in october and it goes till either early december or late december that depend on the university and would, I would say in that excel sheet mention the deadline as well so that you are you're keeping yourself on track and you don't miss uh, a deadline for our application now in the application part some of the documents that you will be requiring is the TOEFL score GRE score if required third is going to be your SOP fourth is your CV you need your academic degree or transcripts ready with you then you also need to contact three professors from your master's or undergrad university it can be a mix match as well you're like two from master's one from bachelor's ready to give you the LOR now letter of recommendation a lot of people are confused about how it is and how do we write a letter of recommendation well in most of the cases you don't have to write the letter of recommendation you just need to ask the professor for the permission that whether you can mention their name their email id in the lor section of the application and later what happens is they get an email from the university asking to submit the letter of recommendation and in most of the cases professors write the letter of recommendation and submit it on your behalf but it can happen that professor asks you to write the lor and then give you a little idea and then 
probably he'll modify it and she'll modify it and then submit it that can happen i don't exactly have a format for the lor but you can get it on google images or anywhere on the internet to get an idea about lor writing an lor and then giving it to your professor and then you can give it to your professor if he's at all asking but in most of the cases professors do submit the lor on your behalf once you have your lor with you all the docu documents with you you just have to fill out fill the application form and make sure you press the submit button before the deadline once you do that you are done with the application process then you just have to wait for another two months to get the final call from the university and then voila you will be in us and uh, hopefully i'll get to interview you if you come to us definitely contact me and i would love to take an interview and uh, tell other students as well that you know this is how the process is and this is how this guy did it i'll be more than happy to take that interview without stretching the video any further this is what i wanted to talk today hope you all liked it hope it was of some help to you that's all in today's videos see you in the next video till then bye bye Thank you.